Did you know that one day on Venus is equal to 243 Earth days? What would happen to the Earth if one day on Earth also took 243 days? Hey everybody, welcome into today's video. We are going to find out what are the effects of a slow rotating planet. Okay, so let me bring this in. This is the rotational speed of each planet. As you can see, Jupiter, 10 hours, Saturn, 10 hours, Uranus, uh, 17, Neptune, 16 hours. So all of the gas giants are fairly quick and fairly speedy at how fast they rotate. We come down here to the, uh, the inner planets here. Earth, 24 hours. Mars, very similar to Earth, 24.5 hours. Mercury, 58 days. And Venus, a whopping 243 days. So some of the questions I think we should ask and hopefully find out today is what are some of the effects on Earth that would happen if it rotated as slowly as Venus? Would it just instantly turn Earth into Venus? Would the greenhouse gases get out of control? I mean, what would really happen? I think the, the, the amount of sun blasting one side of the Earth for so long, so many days, would have an effect. Maybe that creates the greenhouse gas problem that Venus has. Something else insane is that Venus actually rotates opposite direction of all the other planets, except for Uranus, which is the same thing as Venus. So scientists have theorized that Venus and Uranus have both, you know, rotated in the same direction at one point, but then some crazy mass, you know, hit, getting hit by some object sent both of them rotating in the opposite direction. Well, let's find out what exactly will happen to the Earth if it rotated like Venus. There is the Earth. Now, let's slow that right down. Let's slow her down to like a normal speed here. Um, so we got every second you're looking at is an hour, right? So pretty normal rotation. Earth is looking good. Let's get the panel going up here and let's figure some stuff out. So first, I think what we need to do is take some, um, I don't even know, take some readings, I guess, of what the planet is doing currently, right? So average temperature, 7.6 Celsius. Speed is 29.3. Um, actually, that has nothing to do with it. Uh, rotational periods. So the average temperature is 7.6 Celsius. The rotational period is 0 0.997 days. So that's exactly what we want to change is that. We want to make this 240 days, um, which is going to be quite interesting to find out what's going on. Surface gravity the same. Um, let's find out some stuff like the surface. This is going to be really important, I think, over here. So, Earth similarity, 99.9, .9, of course, because it is the Earth. Life likelihood, 97.8. Makes sense. Uh, let's show the magnetosphere, because I actually do think that the magnetosphere is one of the biggest things that is going to change because of this. Um, that looks really cool. Because the thing with the magnetosphere is that Earth has a giant ball core of molten iron inside of it. And the fact that it's spinning as fast as it is, is what generates the magnetosphere around the Earth. And now, as you all know, the magnetosphere blocks a lot of uh, things from the sun. It blocks solar winds. It blocks all these kind of different things. So without the magnetosphere, um, you know, we'd probably be dead. Let's just, okay, let's look at the magnetosphere size, right? 2.38 Earths and the field strength is 0 0.3. But now let's find Venus and see what the difference is between that. Right, Venus, we go down to the magnetosphere. Let's see. Go magnetosphere. It doesn't even have one. What do you think about that? What do you guys think about that? Let's see. Venus has no magnetosphere, okay? That can't be good for the planet. That can't be a good thing. All right, so back to Earth. Here we go. Uh, hang on to your butts, because this is going to get wild. And as we can see, the rotational period is 0 0.997 days. What we're going to do is change that to be exactly what Venus is, is at 243 days of rotation. So as you can already see, just doing that instantly, you can see how the, um, the atmosphere and the clouds and the weather are still moving quickly, whereas the planet's not moving at all. So that can't be good for anybody. Okay, so we want to check out things like the temperature here. So we have average temperature, 7.2. We have the minimum temperature, minus 67. And then let's go down here and figure out some other stuff. Um, the freezing point, that doesn't matter. I don't, I don't think these will change. So are we going to lose more mass because of stellar winds and from heating? Because if the planet can't turn, I don't know. 
Let's find out. Also, here's a crazy interesting thing here. Look at this. The comparisons, the earth similarity, 99.8. So it went down by 0.1%. But the life likelihood went down all the way already to 34.3%, which is wow. That's insane. Let's turn on the magnetosphere. So if we see the magnetosphere here, it is 2.3 earth sized and the field strength is 0.38. I don't know if these will change in the game due to this, but I think it would change in real life if we didn't have that. And the reason is, so let's go ahead and we can turn the magnetosphere off and we'll just see what happens. We're going to fast forward maybe 2000 years or so and see what fate beholds us. Okay, I'm going to slow it right down. So we're basically in the year 4800. So we've went quite a ways in the future. And as you can see now, um, the planet looks pretty, the winds and the, that looks pretty wild. The atmosphere is moving quickly. You could only imagine the storms that this thing would have because the hot and the cold on both sides would just create the most crazy storms I think ever. And I mean, it would probably devastate the planet. Just the storms alone, I think would devastate the planet. As we see the life likelihood, Still at 34.6, so it's gone it's gone down, but it hasn't gotten lower, if that makes any sense. Um, the magnetosphere hasn't actually changed over here, so that is very interesting. That just might be a simulation error or whatever, but magnetosphere has not changed, so that's the same. But let's take a look at the actual planet itself. So here's we're zooming on North America, and I mean, it is completely covered in ice. As And it looks like the, the day is, you know, it looks like as night comes, it's just going to be pure ice on that side of the planet because, I mean, you're not getting any sunlight for over 120 days. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the lighting here and we're going to make it um, the entire planet lit up. So you can't see where the sun's hitting now, but I just want to show you the entire planet. So over here, it's basically nighttime. I mean, look at the size of the ice at the bottom of the earth the poles look at that that is crazy huge and then we'll go to the top look at that that's crazy huge too i mean it's just completely taken over the entire north and south of the world um we have you know a little extended ice over there in chile and it looks like north america is getting blasted with frost it looks like look at the hudson's bay in canada has been completely frozen over which is crazy interesting um africa looks okay but then i mean you come up here north of india we go to russia i mean look china look at that it's just pure ice and look at the speed of the i'm, I'm telling you right now the speed of these uh, the atmosphere is just crazy so what what can we discover that has changed the life likelihood has gone down massively so that obviously has changed the average temperature has gone down um i think just because of the the amount of ice and coldness of not having the sun for 120 days a day would do that to you so as you can see the planet has come under some serious stress some serious hot and cold stress uh from rotating Every 243 days is is one day on Earth now. Um, life likelihood, again, down to 34.6. So could we live on this planet? Yes. Would it be easy? Probably not at all. Probably very, very challenging, um, especially with the atmosphere, all that kind of stuff. Now let's just check out what some scientists say. Look at this. So these guys are saying if, it's not, if it wasn't for the soupy, fast-moving atmosphere on Venus... Earth's sister planet would likely not rotate at all. Instead, Venus would be locked into place, always facing the sun the same way the moon faces Earth. Now let's check this out. This is another cool thing. So what we know of the Earth, core of the Earth, or think we know of the core of the Earth, and the Earth's crust rotate at slightly different rates. This may be due to Earth's crust slowing down over time and the core not slowing down as fast. There's a slight variation in rotation rate between the core and Earth's surface. So although the inner core is solid, Earth's outer core is somewhat liquid. And as it cools, the inner core grow, slowly grows, the outer core shrinks, and in the process, heat is released. The process creates a flow which may be partially influenced by the moon's orbit, and together the circulations are thought to create the Earth's magnetic field. 
So I'm assuming that because of the way that the core is rotating and because of the way the earth is rotating and I guess just throw the moon in there. I mean, this is crazy. That is what gives the earth its magnetic field. So what he's saying here is if Venus rotated much faster in combination with its proximity to the sun and the solar tidal forces, possible if Venus rotated faster, it would have a permanent magnetic field. It's far from certain, but it's a possible outcome. So that's one thing. So if you reverse that, we were, you know, by slowing down the Earth's rotation, you're probably reducing the chance of having that magnetic field. A lot of interesting stuff to be thought of. I mean, I just love these little thought experiments here. But it seems like we could still live on the Earth. At the end of the day, we could still live on the Earth. Uh, life likelihood, 34%. So basically, what you're looking at here is, you know, a dying planet, a slowly dying planet. So let's just be thankful that every single day is 24 hours. Now, if you guys like that video, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you can click the like button. You can also leave a comment to let me know what you think would happen if the Earth rotated just as slow as Venus, or what you think would happen if Venus rotated as quickly as the Earth, or just put in a, a simulation event that you want me to run here that I find very interesting. Love reading the comments, guys. Anyways, what have we discovered today? We've discovered that we're very thankful that the Earth is 24 hours in a day. Because if not, crazy things might happen. We might die and we might we might freeze and boil at the same time. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Much Adventure. Till the next video. We'll see you later.